just want to quickly go over how to set up the throttle hold switch and the security switch. Um, it's very easy to do and you don't need to be connected to a V-bar to do this. Simply go into your transmitter, transmitter setup. You're going to scroll down until you get to assign and calibrate. Then you're going to go to mandatory switches. This is where you'll set your throttle hold. The throttle hold is the motor switch. Uh, you choose which switch you want based on the number. You'll see in the bottom left here, it'll sh actually point to the switch that it's going to use. Um, I prefer to use switch 3, but everyone can choose. And then where it says off, this is the current position of the switch. So for me, I like down to be off and up to be on. So you'll see it now says run, idle, off. Idle is your auto rotation bailout. Run is running, and this is off, of course. If you would like uh, to use it in the reverse order, you simply do normal. And now down is run, middle is idle, up is off. Uh, and then next, to set up a security switch, you're going to go to logical switches. This security switch is pretty much a second throttle hold. So it locks, so you can't actually bump the throttle hold and start the helicopter uh, if you're not using a, uh, a normal throttle curve. Um, this is an excellent feature that was recently added. And it's the same as setting the throttle hold switch. All you're going to do is choose the switch you like to run it on. And then if you want it in to go up or to go down. And of course, always test. Make sure it's the switch you want and it moves in the direction that you want. Uh, and that's it. It's very simple to do.